I went to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale and got a PhD in 19th century British and Irish literature. I wrote my dissertation on 19, the collection of 19th century Irish folklore. Um, so it kind of all sort of meshed together and the imperialism and how it sort of interplayed with um, the English capturing Irish oral tradition. So um, it was one of the funnest, most exciting um, research projects I've ever done. From there, I found out about a job here, and it was like a cross-posting. They needed someone in creative writing and someone in Victorian lit. And so that was sort of a perfect fit, and came here in 2007. I teach Victorian lit, and I teach creative writing, but I also teach online here at CBU, and I direct the creative writing program and castings and Memphis Reads. I think probably here at CBU my biggest accomplishment was to start a BA in creative writing. So um, that was, it's been really amazing and now we have 20 something students in it and we're in our third year of it. So um, next year we'll actually graduate a real full class of them and we keep seeing more and more applications. And, and that came about from a ton of hard work um, in terms of recruiting and um, training admissions and um, working with teachers and doing workshops all over City Methods. And the great payoff of that is my students are just amazing and they're winning awards and um, they're getting to do some cool international travel that um, involves, you know, uh, creative writing programs and they're, they're really sort of, you know, I'm pushing them really hard to publish and to do some things will make a difference in their future. And they're really responding to that. And the work they produce is so good. And then the other thing I did is I became the director of Fresh Reads here, which is our um, community read um, program for incoming freshmen, our common reading experience for incoming freshmen. And um, that started out as Fresh Reads, and we've done that for four years. And just last year, um, we expanded it into Memphis Reads, and so I became the director of Memphis Reads, which now has become a citywide reading program. The thing that I sort of love to do is I'm a graffiti photographer, so I take pictures all the time, all the time, all the time, of any sort of public art. And I write about um, murals and public art and graffiti writers and, and interview them sort of extensively and publish um, you know, nationally, and it's something that I have a huge passion for. Well, when I first came in, they gave me this book, and it was called something equivalent of like being Lasallian. And so I looked through it, and I was like, oh, it had a great history, and you know, um, of of the religion. And and I, I was like, well, I didn't quite get it. And then I got into the classroom, and for me, it has become kind of twofold. Um, and it all kind of comes down to service. Not just lecturing, but you really are engaging students in sort of a Lasallian learning environment, and so that it's not just that they're taking notes and regurgitating information, that they're actually learning it enough to be able to make a difference in their lives. And I don't even mean applying it to another classroom or another job, but to really make a difference in their lives. And that is really, to me, that's one of the big components of what a Lasallian education is, or an institution does, is to make a difference in someone's life. So really I want students to be able to find what they love, whatever it is. You know, I always say to my students, you know, you're going to read this and it, you know, you may read something this semester that may, that may change your life and it may move you and that's what I'm here for, right? It's not to lecture you on the biography of a poet, it's that maybe you're going to read something that may ch change you and then move you. And then maybe they may write something that changes them and moves them. <laughs>